Howdy and welcome to Skyrim Roleplay Builds, The Blacksmith. Alright, let's get to it. The rules were no direct fighting, which means no weapons. I did allow myself to have a pickaxe for mining, of course, and um, emergency blocking. But other than that, bubkus. Alright, the armor. No armor. I did break this rule because I found a nice uh, pair of leather boots with plus 30 uh, carry capacity which was really helpful because I got a lot of uh, heavy uh, materials due to the blacksmithing. Alright now the main, uh, the purpose of this build if you will is uh, using the high blacksmithing to create armor and weapons for the follower which does all the fighting. As you can see Lydia there in ebony armor with uh, glass weapons taken on this blood dragon now I absolutely wet my pants when I saw this thing I wasn't expecting it um, I mean from my past experience blood dragons are hard enough <laughs> you know when I'm fighting them myself but not being able to fight and just having the follower do everything I was I was nervous but it's going alright Slow, slowly slowly getting there as you can see uh, okay, um, now money. It was difficult um, to stay cashed up at times, uh, m probably mostly because I was uh, purchasing all the materials for smithing, uh, just because it was quicker that way. But if I was strapped for cash, I found that just raiding some bandit hideaways and camps and whatnot and looting absolutely everything. Uh, gave me enough to continue my smithing which was good all right now uh, let's just watch <laughs> I gotta say I'm glad I went Nord because of this particular fight otherwise it probably would have decimated me I went mostly into stamina um, mainly so that I could run for longer because I anticipated uh, having to run quite a bit with this build uh, but also because the carry capacity that was nice I went uh, I put 50 points into health just so I didn't get one shotted leveling smithing alone uh, got me to level 18 and uh, I was surprised to see that uh, it did not gimp me. <laughs> oh, see, now the dragon's running. I've got it scared. Look at it go. Yeah, I've been thinking about this build for uh, quite some time. I just... I thought it would be cool to focus on a non-combat skill and just see what happens and I'm glad to say it worked and not only did it work but it's actually some of the most fun I've had in Skyrim yet <laughs> believe it or not there we go about down to half on the health bar, it's getting there. That that dragon is going down. <laughs> Got to hide. Now, I uh, I put all my perks into smithing. Smithing is at a hundred. Oh, look! Look at the saber cat. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I must admit, I did get a little help here. Um, unintended from that cat and a couple of mammoths but I'm confident that given more time Lydia would have taken that thing out on her own anyway uh, I put all my perks into smithing um, so I've got every perk in the smithing tree and that's at a hundred I put uh, two perks into speech um, just so I could get better prices but that's only at 28 
that doesn't level anywhere near as fast as I would have liked. Oh, now that dragon's got me on the run. I hate when they're on the ground <laughs> and they're chasing you because they just seem way too fast. There we go. It's mammoth time. I was really tempted to, to go into enchanting as well, to enchant my blacksmith's apron, which would have been fun, uh, you know, with plus smithing, but I just felt it wasn't, uh, it wasn't right in a roleplay sense. Oh, there we go, it's down. <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The Dragonborn Blacksmith. It can be done. I love it. <laughs> I was also tempted to go into Conjuration. Just to help out my follower. But once again, it wasn't right in a roleplay sense. But, uh, anywho. That's all from me. I uh, hope you like the Blacksmith. Um... Tell me what you thought, and more importantly, tell me about some of your...